So I'm gonna tell you how you edit TikToks within Adobe Premiere. Who am I? Well, I have a couple of viral videos on TikTok, whether this one has 500,000 views, 100,000 views, 80 views, and the list goes on and on. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you work harder and smarter. So when it comes to using TikTok, everyone is probably just recording on their phone, picking it up, and I'm like, okay, I am going to record a TikTok. And after I re record it, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit it on TikTok. But this is not what you wanna be here for. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you wanna do. So step number one is record all of your TikToks and all of your ideas, have an idea, and record that within your phone or your fancy 4K camera. And making sure, step number one, you are recording in 16 by nine, AKA in vertical format. So you record a bunch of your videos just like this and you're, you're gonna be like, hey guys, in this video, blah, 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 here are the top three reasons. Here's what you need to do, blah, 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 blah. Bang out 10 TikToks, just have to re record once and making sure you tap the mic so you know when to cut and there you have your 10 raw footages of your TikToks. Once you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna import that into Adobe Premiere, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what to do after that. And then what I need to do is I'll drag that into my sequence, but first you need to make one. So click new item, click sequence. Just for naming purposes, I just like to make this a little bit more neat. So this is my TikTok sequence. Depending on what frame rate that you filmed in, I filmed in 1080p, 30 frames. I go into custom, and here is you put your 1080 by 1920. And as you can see here, nine by 16. That is what you're looking for, for that TikTok format. Everything else you can leave as is, don't touch anything, TLDR. Click okay. And look, now you have your little TikTok window right here. Drag this clip right over, click keep existing settings, right click this, set to frame size. And all you need to do now is to rotate this. So I go, let's say, negative 90, and then you zoom in, and now you, you all you need to do is reframe your TikTok, right? Everything within these borders, I try to like to keep my head in the middle, but if you're doing 10 of these, you're gonna have like 10 different of these files, right? So what you'll have here is, split this up. So TikTok number one, TikTok number two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. But for this example, I'm gonna show you just with one. Next, what you wanna do is when you create a TikTok, you want a compelling idea first. So whatever it is you're talking about, making sure what is gonna stop those TikTokers from wanting to watch your video. So you click here and you wanna have compelling copy or text. Go down to graphics, central graphics panel. And what you wanna do now is you click this little new layer, click text, and then you wanna type in, let's say what's a good trending or eye-catching title. So here is where you wanna have your font. This is your TikTok font. You have your Nova, bold, and extra bold. I like to go for bold. So I'm gonna change this, or you can go with just Proxima Nova, regular. Increase font. Let's go for bold. Here are three ways to change your life. As you can see, this looks very similar to that TikTok font. I'm just gonna center my text here. And then what you wanna do is, let's say you want these two different lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this and then I'm gonna click on the same panel. So now that I created two text layers, I can both have a background behind them. So I go down here, check background, make sure the opacity is set to 100% and I increase this size right here. As you can see, what it does is creates a box. Here is where you can smooth or your corner radius. So I just have a little bit of a smoothness to it. So it looks similar to TikTok. And I wanna have a compelling color, right? Bright red, right in your face. That's gonna be for number one. The bottom, let's make it, I don't know, blue. Same thing, 100%. And you wanna find that blue that is similar to that on TikTok. Increase the size increase the corner radius. I can drop this down a little bit. And hey, you can obviously fine tune this, but this is starting to look very similar to that of TikTok font, right? 
And that is your hook or your introduction to your TikTok video is you have that compelling little one to three second hook within your TikTok, maybe a spin, right? That is pretty cool. And then what you can do now is you can add your little text. You can different have different ways of what you want to pop up on screen. You can have these like pop on, pop off, right? You can have it like randomly appear in the corner and have your own little animations and styles to it, right? All within Adobe Premiere. And you don't have to annoyingly do this within TikTok because if you ever tried editing a TikTok with a lot of text manually on your phone, it is a headache. And the next thing you know, your whole app crashes and you're like, oh my God, I have to do this all over from the beginning, right? Here is why you do this within Adobe Premiere. And a bonus extra tip is what you can do now is you click on this text right here and you can save this as a style. And you'll be like, okay, TikTok font. Now, every time you have a text or you wanna have text, click the T tool, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hey, I wanna load this as the TikTok font. TikTok font, and it's gonna automatically load the style that your TikTok font comes in. And now, assuming that you've edited your first TikTok and you did the same thing with your second, third, fourth, and fifth, click I for endpoint, outpoint, and then you go up here to your little corner and you wanna export this. This is where you need to export your TikTok so you can upload it onto your phone. So you can name it whatever you want, figure out where you want that video to go, the settings, and then here is the important part. You wanna scroll down here, click this video tab, drop down menu, click more. Make sure you check render maximum depth and render quality. This will improve the overall quality when you upload it into TikTok. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your target bit rate, because you're uploading this to TikTok, you don't want to have a 19 megabits per second file, right? You wanna have it at least seven or six, right? A good rule of thumb is if your video is 12 seconds, you'd want the file to be 10 to 12 megabits. You want a really small file because once again, it's going on TikTok, not YouTube. Same thing applies to Instagram Reels. You export that, you have that directly uploaded onto your camera's gallery or your iPhone, uh, what's equivalent, your photo album, and then you just upload as is into TikTok, and then you add your trending sound, and you draft it. Now you just made 10 TikToks within, let's say roughly 10 to 15 minutes, which save you four hours of time. You're welcome. If this tutorial has helped you, help me help you. Grab my resources in the description below where you wanna take the best camera settings, whether you wanna take video editing a little bit more serious, check that out in the description below. You wanna learn what kind of camera gear and equipment I use, all that in the description below. My name is Peter from a Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something in this damn noisy digital world. Cheers, guys.